Yeah, guys, dozens of golf carts were burning, and I'm told all it took was for one of them to catch fire before it spread to others in a matter of minutes. There's a distance between the, where the water, water source is and where, our, where we fight the fire. OKC okay, firefighters had to lay a long hose line to get water on the blaze, but they were able to contain it with none of the structures damaged at Clear Creek Golf Car. The smoke getting lots of attention on social media. To make sure that none of the structures got involved and try to stop the spread and then we can contain and extinguish the rest of the golf carts. The business gave us this statement saying in part, quote, fortunately, nobody was injured and our buildings were completely unaffected by the fire. However, about 50 cars stored outside were destroyed. Based on camera footage, the fire appears accidental and an investigation is underway to identify the root cause. The entire Clear Creek team would like to thank the first responders for their swift action. If not for them, it would have been much worse. OKC Fire confirmed that, saying this was an electrical fire, but they say over 60 golf carts were burned in the blaze. It doesn't look like anything suspicious at all. It looked like it initially started with one golf cart, had electrical issues, and then they're so tightly packed together that they just all kind of just spread from one fire to the other fire to the other one. And that was a major reason for all the huge black smoke seen near Blessed Stanley Rother's shrine. Well, that was the batteries, and that was the plastic from the golf cart. So plastic uh, produces a lot of black smoke, a lot of hydrocarbons. So that's basically what it was from. And I'm told there were some people at the business when the fire started, but there were no injuries. In Oklahoma City, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News.